the Sugar Factory and we are going to check out a Groupon review that is going on right now for $60 value of Sugar Factory food and drinks. So. Oh, I don't want candy. I just want sugar drinks. really big goblets of sugary inspired drinks so let's see and we're not even really big sugar people so maybe we should find out like what's the least yeah. sugary drink right. and after this let's go to the salt pack <laughs> I feel like this one would be like the least sugary compared to these other ones and it looks cool it has like little sharks inside of it they've also got martinis and cocktails and we're very curious about the rainbow sliders they look so ridiculous obviously they do have a lot of like sugary stuff like milkshakes oh my goodness they have a drink a drink the drink <laughs> wow and these are all the celebrities they have a deal on Yelp. If you check in, they give you a free mac and cheese appetizer. So let's see if it hopefully works out. I know we're using the Groupon, so I hope they're not like picky about like. It might be. I don't know. Like <laughs> you can't use a Groupon and take a deal, but hopefully we get free appetizers. So, so the goblet is forty-one dollars. Some of them are forty-three dollars, but they're definitely shareable. So we're gonna split this one between the two of us. And you see, if you check in on Yelp, you get the mac and cheese pop appetizers, and they honored it, so it works. <laughs> And this is the Groupon going on right now. $60 value towards Sugar Factory. So we also want to check out um, right next to this. Is it behind us or in Florida? Right, right over there. this way over here. There's a new, um, I guess it's like a bar restaurant place. It's called Wild and Out and it's like the Nick Cannon. Yeah, Nick Cannon. Rated it? Or is, I don't know if he... Well, Wild and Out is his show. It's so. from the show, yeah. So we want to check that out too and see how that is. Um, I believe it's pretty new. I don't know how new, but... Two weeks Like a few weeks. And then we also wanted to check out maybe the Versace mansion. It's down this strip. Ooh. <laughs> wow. That's fun. <laughs> I'm gonna take out a pickle, but I forgot to say that. Does it taste like a purple bun? Yeah, grape flavored. Do we get to keep the rubber ducky? Yep. <laughs> Anyways, so inside they have the signature sauce, which I'm not sure what it is. Um, crispy onion, um, and they got pickle, which I'm taking out, and then tomato and lettuce. So it's a pretty simple. The bread definitely tastes like the softest basic bread ever but it's cute I want to understand how this is still bubbling after like I don't know it's been like tw maybe like 15 20 minutes and this still how is it still going honestly like this is a lot <laughs> for two it's just like I don't know it's definitely a lot of liquid I'm gonna have to pee soon I would prefer no sh no sweetness just straight up just Alcohol. <laughs> alcohol and water. That ice. sounds bad. But anyways, it's still fun. I mean, there's no candy. There's some drinks that have candy in this it. This is the least. This one's like, he said least, this is the uh, least sweet right. one. So, imagine the other ones. Those are really sweet, probably. So, we're still waiting for our cheese pop appetizers. It's funny because they're appetizers, but we already had the... We already had our food. Right. We're still waiting for the appetizer. Are but... We and we're like, we're like halfway. And I... I'm feeling it. Maybe I can vlog successfully 
once we're done with this. Hopefully it doesn't rain before we get to actually go to the beach, which is right there. Look at this bug. It's like, it looks like a little robot. Are we being watched? Look how it walks. It walks like it's twitching, it's like, like yeah, it looks like it's, <laughs> look at that, it's, <laughs> it's walking like it's almost like a, like the frame rate is, is too yeah, slow like the frame rate's too slow and it's kind of like skipping, what is happening? So it's raining and you can't tell because it's like sprinkling, but we chose to take our Monday off so we could go to the beach and tan and hopefully by the time that we like get out of here and walk down the strip maybe it'll be done but that's Miami people think they're gonna come to the beach and just hang out and it's all sunshine but it's probably rain <laughs> well we finally got our three macaroni and cheese cheese pops with the same with this little sauce, sauce as the, the burger right is that the same sauce it looks like it so let's see oh I'm gonna first bite into it like plain okay no He's so picky. I love mac and cheese though, so I'm not that picky. Alright, so total amount is 25 after the Groupon, so not too bad. But still, given that we only had like two things. <laughs> So right here, next to Sugar Factory, is Wild and Out, which is a new bar created from that Wild and Out show with Nick Cannon. Okay, like it, talk it. Yeah, this is a lot smaller than I expected. We've got like two arcade games in here and a bar, and that's about it. So this Wild and Out bar is a lot smaller and less eventful than we expected. Yeah. So said it was a sports bar and arcade. Yeah, it's like sports bar arcade. It has like two arcade sports games bar. and it's barely a bar, so you know. And here we got coming up the Versace. Oh, we got the Versace mansion. So the, the restaurant's called Gion. So they don't let you see the inside of the Versace you mansion the unless you go to the restaurant and you make or reservations for dinner or you stay at the hotel. So good to know. And right here we've got the palace. Oh, the inside looks cool. So as you're walking down Ocean Drive, you've got a lot of options to drink at. Next up, we've got... <laughs> here we've got Social. Hi. They got hookahs here. And right here, we got the Clevelander Hotel. I will post a link up above of the times that the band has played right here. So here's the Art Deco District Welcome Center and Gift Shop. So we've never seen this over here, which is the gift shop. Okay. Yeah. Look at these little vintage heads. Oh, 
Whoa, look. It's a pencil sharpener. And look at this walking robot pencil sharpener. Vinyls. Is this vinyl records? Oh no, this is just like posters. I feel like they have to have them here. Very random assortment of things. Yeah, it's very, very thrift shop. Old school Miami. So we're at the Art Deco Welcome Center and apparently there's an Art Deco Museum, but they're closed on Mondays. But you can come Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. $5 per person. If it would have not been closed, I would have done the $5 to see what was inside. I like this, I like that, I like that, I like that. Those little sushis. Oh, and there's a little doggy. Hi! City! supposed to be Coco. That's what, that's what Coco would look like if he didn't have so much hair. Hi! <laughs> Do you come with the store? Here's the whole Florida tourist section. <laughs> Oven mitt, everything. All the things you need. Honestly, the only thing I have to say is that I don't know why the Versace mansion doesn't do tours like we're not allowed to see the rooms and stuff like why they could have yeah i would have paid 10 bucks to have done a tour i don't know why they don't do that i just blew a ton of money so unfortunately we came to the beach in hopes to get a nice tan go on the water if we showed up and went straight to the water we would have been fine but i don't know yeah it looks like it's gonna rain it's kind of cloudy again this is Something to expect if you come to Miami. <laughs> oh no, not Miami, Florida. Yeah. Oh look, the beach patrol is right here. I get misty just holding your hand. Before we forget, we should give a review for the Sugar Factory. Um, it's pretty expensive. And if you don't get the group on... Everything on, on that Ocean Drive. Everything on Ocean Drive is going to be expensive. That's, yeah. That is the case. But I would suggest a group on because if we wouldn't have gone the group on, it would have been $85. Yeah. $85 for, for one sliders, drink. One it's drink. a huge drink. You can That's share it. Two things. And sliders and free appetizers. So that would that wasn't even on the bill. <laughs> right. So it would have been $85 for just two things. A drink and appetizer and a little sliders. So yeah, get the group on. Definitely not worth it. In that Definitely sense. not worth it if you're going to pay full price. Get the group on and then And then when there's restaurants on here that on this beach that are, are expensive but the quality of food yeah, I'm sure is even Right, higher. if you're gonna spend money, like go make sure Go to Stubborn Sea, go to a proper fancy restaurant. Yeah. Spend the extra If you're gonna 50, go ahead and you know. be fancy, be fancy. Don't waste go your time with like yeah. one of those little like close to Ocean Drive restaurants that are gonna be like more for tourists. But but if you're interested in a, a fun goblet that's, you know, if you're there for the atmosphere, that's fine. I would suggest if there's a Groupon, go to Naked Taco instead of... Oh, Naked Taco. We did a Naked Taco Groupon review. We'll link that above. Food and was a little more tasty. The food there was good, yeah. Same price, so. just a little more tasty. And you're pretty, it's pretty much the same area. You just gotta walk a tiny little bit more to get to the beach, and that's it. They got the sea turtle nest right there. Feels like it's gonna rain any second now. <laughs>